we live in absolutely unique times, historically absolutely unique times. On one side, we are facing major threats, ecological threats, uh, threats political threats, social threats. And indeed, the problems are mounting, and there seems to be no easy solution. Uh, the threats are global. They have never, we have never experienced anything like that before. But on the other, on the positive side, uh, we are having absolutely amazing opportunities. We have technologies, uh, we are connected, we have our smartphones. Uh, not only technologies, but we have amazing amount of knowledge. We have great science. We look at matters, subatomic particles, we observe the whole universe. We have great theories. We, can, uh, we, can, uh, we have such technologies that we can, in principle, fight hunger and be without hunger and without suffering. We don't do that, but in principle, it is possible. And it is indeed uh, the impossible to brave to achieve a fair, transparent, and engaging society. And I believe such a society will come, or and as a fact, we have no choice. I believe that we are approaching a point of a singularity, of a global change. Either we don't make it, and we destroy our world, which I hope, I believe, is a small probability, but with a much higher probability, over 94%, we will make it and we will achieve a new world, a much better world, which could be, which will be a Human Society 21. And in order to, uh, to give uh, arguments to this, to this vision, to this belief, I would like to share with you uh, the um, tools that we have, uh, that I have been uh, working on, and I would please ask for time here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the, the major tool is, is a, a voting system. It is a way how to select people, how to select leader. I call it Democracy 21. It is a new algorithm which is, uh, which is based on uh, multiple votes. Uh, the, the, most prin uh, principle, uh, the most important principle is that we have more votes and each person uh, can vote more opportunities. You can also st state your second and third choices, etc. Let me show you an example or just a brief layout how uh, choice uh, looks like now, how voting system looks like. We have a so-called first-past-the-post system. That is a system that's democratic, yes? Every person has one vote, and the, the one who receives the most vote wins. It is democratic, but it is not very good. It is actually very weak, especially in uh, today's world, where we are facing, we see, we are in post truth society, we are facing how easy it is to manipulate people and how, uh, how much it pays off. So if it is the case that everybody can express only one preference, then it is not working simply. Proportional voting system is, is an example that is in the Czech Republic uh, or other countries in Europe as well, Poland as well. The system is also not very good. It promotes a lot of corruption. And indeed, uh, this is what I found uh, after I founded an anti-corruption endowment in 2010. I realized that the fight against corruption being extremely important is actually not going uh, to solve uh, the problems. The root of the problems lies in how people are selected, how people are chosen, and who is in power. Now, so proportional system is not very good. You can, you can see on the, on the screen, it's like a version, like a computer version, software 1.0, 1.2, a small improvement. The next level is a big improvement. Uh, I denote it as 1.7. And it is so-called STV, single transfer vote. This is, uh, in, uh, in my uh, knowledge, uh, the only voting system that is being applied in practice in political voting. It is, uh, for example, in Ireland. It is a much better system. But it is relatively complicated. It has other weaknesses. Now, 1.9, D1.9. That's not in practice. That's a system that I created in 2012 when I realized that, uh, again, the uh, root of the problem of society is those people who get into power, those who are hungry for power, and those who uh, promote corruption in the end. So in order to fight corruption, we need to change the choice of leaders. And uh, the, this system uh, from the year 2012 is based on a vote against. So everybody can vote not only for, but also against. So that was the major uh, upgrade. But now, this is still not what I want to talk about. 
Uh, the new system is called Democracy 21, or also you can call it as 2.1. You make an upgrade from DOS to Windows, or from DOS to Unix, so from version 1 to version 2. And indeed, uh, 21 is the system that is based, uh, I repeat, on multiple votes. It sounds very simple, but the, but the effects are surprisingly good. And I will just show you now a very simple example why it is so good. And uh, the example that I will show you is not artificial. This uh, similar uh, situation does appear in practice. So imagine a situation that uh, we are eight people of an international committee whose goal is to find consensus uh, and to, uh, to reach uh, some agreement. And uh, we want to decide where do we go for dinner. Obviously, we want to become friends, so we need to eat together. So now, how do we decide? We are Democrats, so uh, we vote. And uh, now the voting system, the first voting system is the majority. The biggest number of vote wins. Well, you can see that in this simple example, two people voted for the same restaurant, in this case, McDonald's. So everybody now needs to go to McDonald's. What do you think about that? Well, from the total social utility point of view, which is a theoretical concept, but we can look at how each person is satisfied. So from the total utility, it is probably the worst choice, even though two people wanted that. But the problem is that each other person wanted something else. And they were, able, they were allowed to say only one preference. So now comes Democracy 21. Democracy 21 means that you have more votes. In this case, there is one winner, one restaurant, so we have at least two votes. And indeed, if we have two votes, we can see that some, there is another winner, for example, a Greek restaurant. Very simple, but the effects are like that. Additional, additional addition, addition to Democracy 21 is Democracy 21 plus a minus vote, including the minus vote. You can see that the result with the minus vote might be different. But this is not important here. Uh, it, we are not, our, uh, our ambition is not to find the absolutely best solution from the total social utility point of view. Our ambition is to find a solution which is really good. And with both these choices, a grid or Italian restaurant, uh, the majority of people would be satisfied. Now, what would you expect? Well, this is a system uh, that's great, uh, that has the potential to change global politics everywhere. Uh, of course, it will be very difficult, or it might be difficult to implement it, uh, to uh, persuade politicians to do that. Why? Well, there is a Czech proverb that the carps do not, um, do not uh, evacuate their own pond. Okay? So they want to keep their pond, so they definitely, or most politicians, will not want to make these changes. But we are very lucky. We are very lucky because the algorithm of voting is applicable and very strong, not only in politics, but also in non-political application. And this is what we have been doing for the last few years. And indeed, um, uh, great applications uh, are in cities. Our goal is, we are people, we, we have the modern technology, each of us has a smartphone. We can uh, create an information interstate between us and the council of a city. We don't need to do voting once in four years. We can engage in the decisions all the time. And this is our goal, that we want to, uh, we want to make people happier in their communities. And indeed, uh, a good example, our, uh, I would say, a shiny example in the Czech Republic is a city called Ričany, which is a project of Řídím uh, Ričany, which means I manage Ričany. Now, uh, from the uh, 11,000 voters, already more than 16% have, have registered. It is one-time cost, one-time issue. You need to come with your ID, register, and you get your own code. And then you can always, for the future, just use your smartphone, and whenever there is anything important, you can do voting. There has been 10 uh, major voting since May 2015. There has been a little more, but the 10 uh, more important one. And, uh, and we have great results. We have great... Uh, 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 reflect or uh, feedback from people. A new, uh, a new project for this year is a proposal for surprise Richane. It is not only that people vote from the offered opportunities, but we also will motivate people uh, to, be, to engage, to be active, to give their own projects. So now, uh, over 30, almost 40 people 
provided their projects what they would like to change to make in the in the city out of which 21 has been uh, are registered chosen and now uh, the whole uh, city will be voting on this project created by people Democracy 21 has not been only in the Czech Republic, uh, so I'd like to, I'm stressing it out, this is not uh, something, uh, something local, it is global now. Uh, I, would, I can stress participation in New York City, which we have been doing last year and this year, it just finished last Sunday. Now, uh, this year it has been uh, much better because, because the city council was more open to our suggestions and uh, indeed, um, the results are not official yet. Uh, but it seems that the number, total number of voters has uh, more than doubled uh, from last year. Electronically, uh, last year we had only 2,000 voters, now it was around 30,000. So, let me now, uh, these are practical non-political applications, but there is something that might be even more important for the near future. And what is important? Important is playing, important is having fun, important are games. So I would like to uh, talk about one game which has been which started uh, on the 21st of December 2112 at 12:20 time symbolic time and date so uh, a little bit over than 3 months ago in the Czech Republic and the goal of the game is to find a Czech president we have Czech presidential elections in January but as you know as in many countries the political situation is not very good People are dissatisfied, people are discouraged, they do not go voting. Uh, they think that their vote even doesn't count. And we want to show them that everybody can really show their opinion and influence the reality by a fair and fully transparent way. So we started the game called President 21. It is a dynamic game where people can go and they can vote and they can change their votes the whole year. And 66 days before the presidential elections, we will announce the winner. And we are hoping that the winner of the game, assuming that we are successful, assuming that we reach a really a big number of people, so then the winner of the game will have an argument. He or she will be able to say, I am the consensual candidate. I am the one who people really chose with a fair, transparent, good voting system without manipulation. And there is a chance that the winner of the game will indeed win the presidential elections because uh, he or she will, in a natural way, unite the country. The results of, as of now are that today it will be actually five sevens. We will reach five sevens, which is 77,777. I believe we will reach today the number of votes. And, uh, and uh, people are voting, uh, people are choosing out of the candidates which actually they can nominate, so you can go, you can vote, you can nominate a candidate. And from the candidates that are nominated, you can choose three. So everybody has three votes for and one vote against. Here, notice it's interesting, there is one winner, but there is three votes for, because the goal is to find even more consensual candidates. So um, I am hoping that this game will, uh, will reach way over 500,000. We have reached this number with pretty much only uh, without any marketing at this point, only uh, through the internet. Uh, and we are hoping uh, to be successful. And if we are, then, uh, then I am hoping uh, that uh, President 21 will become a catalyst, a catalyst of, for games uh, globally, anywhere in the world, that anybody can start a game. And indeed, uh, let me now uh, go back a little bit to the amazing technologies that we have. With President 21, it is the situation that we are running the game. We are uh, controlling and everything, so it is, uh, it is not decentralized, it is at one point. And theoretically, somebody could blame me that I want to manipulate or whatever that already has happened, and it will for sure happen. But fortunately, uh, we are in the modern technology that we have this amazing tool, decentralization, we have blockchain. And what is blockchain? Well, blockchain is the possibility to run open source. So anybody can start a game anywhere, and the game will be absolutely transparent and absolutely fair, because it will be multi, uh, it will be decentralized. That is one assumption. One assumption for all these possibilities is that everybody has access to technology. So we need to make sure that we have this basic freedom of having free access to the internet. Fortunately, 
Uh, it is uh, in principle, this is not still technically perfectly done, but in principle we are able to guarantee anonymity. So uh, through the technology of private and public keys, we can run a game evaluating a country even. So we can evaluate a country where each citizen of the country can go and vote and evaluate uh, his or her country uh, anonymously. And this is the second type of the game which I would like to mention now and which I am giving a great chance of uh, having a major impact uh, for the future. Through a series of evaluation games, kind of referendum, but not standard referendum, I call it referendum 21, where you have multiple choices, not just two choices, yes and no, but at least three, but probably more. So you can say definitely no, rather no and yes, at least. So with this technology, we can um, we can let people evaluate government. How is that possible? How can people in totally different system evaluate their governments? Well, we can do so. We can do so thanks to this technology. And this way, I believe, we can achieve the fair and transparent society. Now, of course, we cannot come to Africa or to China and impose, yes, we need to, uh, you must improve, uh, we must implement a democracy. We cannot do that. But what we, can, uh, what we can offer people to play these games, we can uh, give them an anchor to democracy. And what is the result of such an anchor? K21. K21 is Kingdom 21, a new version of Kingdom, for example. So we can have Bhutan where people are happy, we know it objectively, nobody's complaining. But imagine that the new king comes and uh, people, and it's a dictator, it's a psychopath, whatever, and people start to be unhappy. What can we do now? Well, anybody can down run a game. Those people who are stakeholders, who are citizens, they can go and play. And if we see that 40% of people say definitely no, that they are unhappy, then there is room for international pressures or even the state, the kingdom could have, uh, could have its own law that something must change. So this is a new version of a system, Kingdom 21. Analogously, we can have, uh, we can have Party 21. Uh, oligarchy system might be for some, uh, for some countries, might be good. We don't know. Uh, Democracy 21, I believe, is on the, on the peak. Uh, is, is, of course, will be, uh, the, uh, in my opinion, the best. Or maybe in the future, we may go even further. We may even uh, decrease the, the influence of state and... Uh, and yeah, there are uh, theories that, uh, that are even more, uh, which, which uh, promote total freedom globally. Now, I'm sorry, my slide is gone. Oh, I'm sorry, okay, my fault. So, uh, the, what, is, what is the result? What, what, is, what, is the, um, what is our goal? What is the future? Well, I believe, that uh, energy created matter. And through matter, matter formed life, which was based on the most essential molecule, H20. Now, life goes through evolution, and indeed, it's a long journey full of suffering and misery, and also happiness. But after this long journey, we blossom into H21. H21 is human 21. It is a mental energy, mental energy and creativity. And yes, uh, it is in my philosophy, I believe that H21 is something that will connect our minds together. That we will create a global consciousness, the global consciousness of all people which can, where we can uh, function in a, a completely new level of existence. And indeed, I will, I, this will happen after we successfully uh, pass uh, the social singularity. Thank you.